Hi there everyone. Um, this is going to be yet another help video for AVG8 Antivirus Free Edition. Now even though this is a great free antivirus program, um, users have been experiencing problems mostly with the update manager. Recently um, the AVG server that your computer connects to to download the updates uh, it had a problem so AVG users couldn't download the updates automatically so they had to do it manually but now there's another problem that occurs from time to time the update manager gives you certain error message regarding certain CTF files that are corrupt or invalid so because of them the update manager doesn't work properly and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix that problem basically what you have to do is find those certain CTF files that are hidden deep in your system directories and rename them or better yet delete them so now I'm going to show you the path to those CTF files first for Windows XP users and then later I'm going to show you the path for Windows Vista users so the first thing that we're going to do is going to open up my computer and then we're going to click on tools folder options now click on the second tab now make sure that show hidden files and folders is checked and take the check mark off of hide extensions for known file types now click OK and now I'm going to show you the path to the CTF files um, it's pretty long so pay attention first we're going to go into local disk C documents and settings all users application data AVG8 update download and here we are now here you have a bunch of different files but we're only looking for the ones that have the CTF extension you can click on type to sort them by type that way you'll find them easier here they are now what we're going to do is highlight them right click and delete them now you can also go to the recycle bin and delete them from there and you can open up your AG antivirus and run the update okay so now it works um, in some cases it might not work instantly after you've deleted those CTF files but like I said make sure that you've deleted them from the recycle bin too and try it a few times and it should work Windows Vista user path to those files is different so if you have Windows Vista you're gonna have to look for the CTF files in C backslash program data backslash AVG8 backslash update backslash download and you should find those CTF files in there so there you have it um, you can leave comments for this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and if I can I'll be glad to help you bye